What's up my fellow pilot friends? So I had a couple people ask me about how I built my airplane jacks and so I'm gonna go over it. Here's the finished product. Using this three ton uh, jack from uh, Harbor Freight on my Piper Cherokee. So I'm gonna show you all the parts and exactly how I did it. Okay, first thing, cut the universal joint or universal channel into 16 inch pieces. Which are 16 inches long, about, I think, yeah, 16 inches. Four of those per jack. And the three quarter inch tubular conduit, these are 24 inch pieces, I do believe. Yeah, they're 24 inches. So you'll cut these into 24 inch pieces, those into 16 inch pieces, and then I put the ends of it in a vise, flattened them down just like a, a swing set, and then drilled a hole in the ends of each one of these. So as far as the jack, whenever you buy this, it is flat on top. So what I did was took a, I think a one inch drill bit, and this is sort of a cheap Chinese jack, so the metal is not real hard. And I was able to actually just put enough of a divot in here to where the uh, little nipple on the bottom of my wing would fit right into it. But I wasn't real sure about that, if it would hold up. So I took a piece of one inch steel pipe and I cut off just an inch of it and it actually slips over. You can see how it's tapered right here. It slips over and that gives me just a little bit more protection to keep it from slipping off. So that was my easy solution on that. Uh, whenever you buy these, make sure you get the flat bottom jack. They do make one that has a bracket on the bottom, but you want the flat bottom style. So when you assemble this, um, bolt on this side, washer, uh, nut and bolt on the back side, and then the spring nut. And you can just make four of this exact assembly, just making it finger tight. And then you, when you put it all together, you don't have to worry about backing up the back side of this and you can just tighten down all your uh, all your elbows, which I still have to make one more over here. But yeah, so make this exact assembly four times and then bolt it all together. I like that. All right, so now this step is complete. It's a solid unit. So that's the base. It's like a giant ninja throwing star. And uh, this will go on sort of at about a 45 degree offset. That way I can do the self tappers through here. This stuff's really soft. I just drilled, I drilled through this for those self tapping screws and then let it tap into the metal below it. Just so you can see right there what I did. So, so this was probably the hardest part to fabricate and it really wasn't all that big of a deal. It's a uh, three and a half inch like thin wall box tubing. I found some scraps of it. So this is the actual collar that holds everything together, um, which is this piece right there. Uh, these set screws I welded. You don't have to weld that. If you don't have a welder, you could always just put a nut on the back side of it. I put two set screws so that it pushes the jack over into this corner and it's nice and secure. Um, it doesn't, you know, move or anything around in here. It's got just a little bit of a wobble on behind that back leg, which I can adjust out, but, um, so yeah, the holes are offset close to the edges. You can see why, if you look down on top of it, why they're offset so that they can go over to the, well, I guess a swastika looking thing on the bottom of it. And I'll see how it Finish it out nice for a couple extra bucks. You can get these plastic plugs. I just discovered these today. Um, the other thing that I forgot to mention on the parts list is this self-tapping screw, and I still have to put one more in here. There's not a lot of force laterally on the bottom of this, but it's just a sheer force on this, so it's super strong. Um, they're pretty good sized self-tapping screws. Yeah, number 14 self-tappers. Um, so there'll be two of them in there whenever it's all said and done. And that's about it. So hopefully that answers everybody's questions. And, uh... This could be modified probably for like a Cessna too if, you know, if you're into that kind of thing. So good luck.